Thanks, guys. I'm here at the 2014 Discover Orange Bowl, where Braxton Miller and his Ohio State Buckeyes are about to take on Taj Boyd and the Clemson Tigers. Ohio State is 24-1 and under current head coach Urban Meyer, and in order for that record to improve tonight, Braxton Miller has to be the dual-threat quarterback he's been all season long. For Clemson, however, it just comes down to limiting turnovers. Turnovers have been the deciding factor in both of Clemson's losses this season and just might become the deciding factor here tonight. Miami's defense is ranked seventh overall for points given up, and Georgia Tech's defense is ranked eighth overall for points given up. Just one rank in between them, and what does that mean? Well, basically what it all boils down to today is which offense can execute the best. That's it for Brittany and I here at Central Broward Regional Park. Seven teams have been crowned Super Bowl champion here today, but 14 teams get to go home and celebrate all summer long for making it this far. And because of that, the entire best league has been rated G. Undefeated for three years and the streak still goes. What are these guys' motivation to keep it going? We don't lose. Three words. We don't lose. The PPO Bengals do not lose, and part of the reason is right here, Zachary Sweeney, player of the game. Zach, you dominated the trenches on both sides of the ball. All league seasons are over, but if you're a Super Bowl champion, you're getting another chance to prove why you're the best of the best in this year's Dolphins Championship Series, powered by Generation Next. Thanks, guys. We're here at the University of Miami's Bank United Center for another Orange Bowl production. This time it's for the girls. The cheer squads are lining up here to compete in the Orange Bowl's Cheer and Dance Championship. After the final whistle, the Miami Hurricanes take it 45 to 30 and clinch their fifth straight win of the season. Before the game, we talked about offensive execution. Well, for the first half, Miami's offense actually struggled. They gave up a costly interception and a fumble, but after the break, they came back and absolutely dominated. It was touchdown after touchdown after touchdown for the Canes, and in between those touchdowns were defensive interception that sealed the deal for the Hurricanes. Guys, back to you at the studio. That's it for Heisman talent here in the FYFL. We'll see you in Generation Next, crowning of the champion to see who wins it all. Jonah, Kimmy, back to you guys.